Welcome everyone, very special video today. I've reached 100 subscribers on the channel, that's amazing, thank you so much. Today we're going to be looking at this puzzle by the brilliant Skur Wingle. Skur Wingle is one of the hosts of Off Grid Podcasts, if you're not familiar with it, do go and give it a listen, link is in the description. It's um, it's a crossword podcast, it's not about crosswords, and uh, if you're not sure what that means, then give it a listen, you'll soon find out. So link is in the description. But for now, let's go. So this puzzle was very well received by uh, everyone that solved it, so I thought I'd give it a go on the channel. Okay, and uh, as usual I should have said, links in the description to this puzzle as well. Do give it a go. Luca involved in operational research concerning nine. Now that might be a reference to clue nine, so let's have a look at that. Maya Beer's organ. Okay, well in, I don't know who Maya Beer is, and I think that's worked to my... Uh, benefit here because it's uh it's um a hidden inside the word Maya beer and it's I and so it's an organ. So Luca involved in operational research concerning nine. Operational research that's O R isn't it in um certain sciences. Oh yes, excellent. It's ocular. That's the anagram of Luca. Involved is the anagram indicator O inside O R operational research and concerning nine ocular. Good. After twice peeling anchovy, now I wonder if that means take off the first and last twice. C H O. Fashion designer brought back part of nine. Now, what's a four letter fashion designer we can put backwards to get a part of an I? Hmm. Fashion designer, uh, who would that be? Lagerfeld, Lagerfeld, Vera Wang. Ah, I need some letters. Horny tissue extracted from unicorn ears. Yeah, it's um, it's a uh, cornea again, part of the eye. Is uh, I wonder if uh, all of this is going to be about vision. <laughs> yes, that's cornea, just hidden inside unicorn ears. Temporarily gives diamond interior to 21 part of eye. How amazing. This looks like it's all going to be about the eye. Temporarily gives diamond interior to 21. Right, 21 we haven't got yet. Name specific missing part that's biconvex. I don't know. I need some, um, some help on that one, I think. What was this? Being prepared to scan one on top of head. Ready? Scan is read. One is I. Oh, head. A nest is a like a headland and on the coast. So readiness, being prepared. To scan is read. One is I, Roman numerals, and a nest is that headland. Digital communication of victory or contempt. That's V signs. Which can be either a sign of victory or contempt, depending how you do it. Temporarily gives diamond lens, surely. Yes, lens. Diamonds is D, like in bridge notation. D for diamonds. Temporarily gives his lens. And we've got diamond interior to something part of I. That's well, inside lens, L-E-N-S, isn't it? So bear that in mind when we get to 21. That might help. Expresses disapproval of glasses with rubbish frames. I only came across this recently, this OO being glasses idea. It's uh, very good, isn't it? Because it looks like a pair of glasses. And we've got BS, which is rubbish, is framing the glasses, the OO. Fantastic clue, that. Oh, I just don't know who this fashion designer is. Uh, part of I. Uh, Chu? Jimmy Chu? No, that would give us three O's in a row. Greek character sues upset after topless bodies seen. Greek character. So this may be a Greek letter or somebody from Greek mythology. So I think it's ending with an anagram of sue. Sue's upset. Theseus, something like that. Perseus. Um, topless body, so we want a word for a body without the first letter. Oh, what's that going to be? Um, uh, 
Odysseus and Perseus both don't fit, do they? Odysseus? Yes. It's st- look at that staring you right in the face. Uh, it's uh, just there, look, bodies, topless bodies. Take the, take the B off, we get ODYS and we get Odysseus. <laughs> Direct view of Spooner's visible spectrum curve. Oh dear. Sight line, surely. And then light sign. Yes. Wow. Fantastic. Skirwingle is quite the expert at uh, very clever cluing. So Spooner, I've explained this many times on the channel, but in case you're new, a Spoonerism is where you've got a uh, two-syllable or two-sound word or phrase, and you swap around the first letters or the first sounds. So in this case, sightline would become light sign. Visible, spe- visible spectrum is light, and the curve is a sign curve, like in maths. So old Reverend Spooner might have said when he meant to say sightline, he'd say light sign. Brilliant. Ah, oh, we've got a double one here. Something to look at on wall of dilapidated NHS call centre after head of cardiology is dismissed. Wow. So I reckon this is an anagram of NHS call centre without C being the head of cardiology. Something to look at on wall. Mm. Let's get some letters for that. Ah, oh, so our Dior, Corior, Coroid. Sounds plausible, doesn't it? If I can spell. Choroid, something, some part of the eye must be the choroid. Very nice, and it was Dior, our designer, going upwards there. Christian Dior. Eight, not terribly dogmatic. We haven't got eight yet. Dogmatic, don't know. Coins placed inside vegetables. Pennies? Wrong. Don't know. Visit small Yorkshire batters. Visit. No. Youngster, one beginning to learn. And beginning to learn could be L. Youngster. So maybe a young animal or some sort, puppy. Drink popular blend of tea and back down. Popular is often in. Blend of tea could be an anagram of tea. Yeah, I reckon it ends with not like that. So in is in. Anagram of tea. Drink. Ruminate. Back down. Back down isn't ruminate, is it? Um, I don't know, come back to that. Coins placed inside vegetables. Peas is the obvious vegetable that fits, isn't it? Peas, coins. Placed. What's placed? Put. Laid. Ah, I don't know. Oh, we've got such a good start, didn't we? Always happens. A line specific missing part that's biconvex, and this had something to do with 21 part of 9. Loan specific missing part that's biconvex. God, I don't know. Journalists describe start of Islamic festival. Eid. Journalist is the ed, short for editor. Start of Islamic is I. And I think describe means put that inside the ed and a festival. Eid. Farewell. Hastings copper attended to cleanliness. Hastings. Copper. Either a policeman or CU for a um, chemical element. Glassy vessels opening is holding outre rum. Does that mean anagram of rum? Glassy. Glassy. Um, no, I'm not seeing that. Vessels opening must be V, surely. Is. Does that mean it ends with is and we've got V? No. Oh, 
Rim can be an anagram indicator because the word rum means weird or unusual, doesn't it? So it's probably V uh, is with the I there or there, and then an anagram outre inside. Let's use the anagram helper. Um, so we've got outre is and V. And we're missing a letter? I think it's vitreous anyway, vitreous. It means glassy. So that's an anagram of O U T I E and then is and then V, yeah. Why didn't our anagram helper work there? Oh, it's because the E's got an accent on it. Interesting, bear that in mind. Right, farewell. Hastings Copper attended to cleanliness. Hastings. I don't know what these things is uh, cluing there. Frisbee with centre missing. It's given away. Free. It's just uh, as it says in the clue. Frisbee with the centre bit missing. A freely moving virus round on paper. Papers. Papers is often ID. Freely moving virus found on papers. What we got? Not shown in mauve, it isn't swelling. I wonder if this is um, a hidden one. What would this give us? U V E. Uvitis? Is that a word? It's a. Uh... Well, when a medical condition ends with itis, it means it's the swelling or inflammation of something. So I think that's our definition. And we've got part shown in the phrase move it isn't so yeah i think that's probably right this is a, a swelling of some sort on if it's something to do with the eye let me know if you suffer from uveitis spot man with vampire abandoned by doctor now vampire abandoned that's going to be ve spot man i'm sure Line of vehicles arising from dot com era crash. Huh, that anagram of dot com era. <laughs> That's very nice. Line of vehicles. Um, what's a line of vehicles? Motorcade. Thanks to Raider for that excellent anagram helper. I don't know what we'd do without that. Sharpness of bend in a built up area. A built up area, surely city, a city. And a bend is, what, an L or a U? Because it looks like a bend. Acuity, is that a word? That's a, if I can spell it, is a city with a bend, a U. Acuity. Pretty sure that's a word. Oh, this is going to be fluid, yeah. So it is ID for papers. And then flu is the virus, and fluid is freely moving. This is all beautifully clued. What's this? Oh. And he's confused. Now, when you see something like this, where it looks like the start, one clue starts here and finishes here, normally you just, you normally, you treat them completely separately. Now, this looks like an anagram of and he's, doesn't it? And. Well, On. Oh, no way. <laughs> so, wonderful. That is amazing, Cluing. It is an anagram of and he's confused, saying, uh, you know, anagram this. And you might be thinking, where on earth is the definition? There is no definition. There is. There is. It's staring you in the face again. Is this line here? That's amazing. And an N, an EN, is a, uh, a space measurement in typesetting. And a, a dash, presumably an N dash is a, a dash that's one N long. And there it is. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing gluing. So top left and bottom right, fairly, fairly uh, full. Spot man with vampire abandoned by doctor. Spot man. Yeah. 
Um, Ultra is usually either uh, MB or DR or you know, various it can be. I'm sure on that one. Cavities opening left in cereal grain. I don't know. Rubbish I learned about part of nine. So another I one. Part of I. Rubbish could be rot, rot rotty. Rubbish. Oh, I don't know. Rubbish I learned about part of other parts of the I are there. The lid, the um, rods and cones. Rubbish I learned. Could be an anagram of I learned. Could be. Let's try that. The retinal. Retinal. The retina is part of the eye. It's an anagram of I learned. Rubbish is the anagram indicator. And it's about part of nine. See, it's so easy to overlook a word like about as being just a sort of link between the two parts of the clue. But in this case, it forms part of the definition. And retinal is about part of the eye. Fantastic. Spot. Man with vampire abandoned by doctor. Spot. Don't know that. Cavities opening left in cereal grain. Now, left is often the letter L. Opening. Don't know. We need this one across the top, don't we? Visit small Yorkshire batters. I hope it's not a Yorkshire dialect word, else I've got no chance. Soings placed inside vegetables. Peas. Let's have a look at peas. So it could be... Or the A could be here. Peseta. Oh, pes yeah. Did I say that earlier, that set is a word that means placed? So it's set inside peas. That's it. And pesetas is the old currency of Spain. It used to be about 240 to the pound. Eight. Terribly dogmatic. Retinal. Oh, I see. It's an anagram of retinal and not, I think. Terribly being the anagram indicator. So let's get the old helper. Dogmatic is our intolerant. Does that does dogmatic mean intolerant? I think it must do. Intolerant. Fantastic setting again to spot that that's an anagram that has retinal in it. Ah, oh, so this begins with S. So drink sup, supinate. Does that mean back down? Or supine means laid down, doesn't it? I'm going to go with that. I don't know the word, but I think it must surely be. Youngster, one beginning to learn. And look, there's our L. Youngster, pupil. Oh, I said puppy earlier, didn't I? I need to listen to myself. So it is youngster is a pup. One is I, beginning to learn is L. And pupil is... Oh, you know what this is? This is an amazing thing called a and lit clue, where the whole thing is the wordplay and the definition. I've never been able to write one myself. Obviously, Skirwingle probably can do it in his sleep. So the whole thing is the wordplay and the definition at the same time. Fantastic. Visit small Yorkshire batters. Visit could be to pop in. Just visit. Pop over. Batters. It could be cricket, it could be a food. Pop over. So if this is a V, what would this be? Cavities opening left in cereal grain. Opening could be a vent. Ventricle. Let's write it in. Have a look. 
There's no thing left in... Oh, rice. Uh, okay, so the cavity is a ventricle. We've got vent rice with an L in it. I think... I think... So this looks like popover then. Popover small for S. Popovers. Yorkshire Baptist popovers. Popovers. I haven't a clue what that means. Let me know in the comments what that means. Perhaps I'm way too southern to understand what that is. Visit is popover, small as S. So the whole thing is Yorkshire batters. Maybe it's a type of pastry or something from Yorkshire. I don't know. Ah, so I thought vampire was going to be V vampire band with V E, but obviously not. Spot. Man with vampire abandoned by doctor. Spot. Man. I just don't know that. Not a clue. I can't even think of a word that fits there. Buthall, the Scottish name. Um, spot. Man. With vampire abandoned. Dracula? Dracula sort of fits. Oh, vampire abandoned by Dracula. Dracula without the DR. That looks plausible. What is this though? Oh, it must be A. So Dracula without the DR gives us Acula, and then man is M, is it? This whole thing must mean spot, macula. Oh, I wonder if that's another eye thing. Maybe it's an eye disease of some sort, or an eye problem. Again, let me know in the comments what macula is. Pretty sure that's what the clue's leading us to, though. Farewell. Vale. Hastings Copper attended to cleanliness. Hastings. I just don't know what Hastings is doing there. Kooky resident is introduced. Looks like an anagram of resident. Kooky being an anagram indicator. Registered. Inserted. Inserted. So that's... Yeah, the dot 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 there is um, working to make you think that, that this is uh, you know, related to this. It's not. I think the, uh, the dot 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 here doesn't mean anything in the context of this clue. I bring a suit made from strange animal in Connecticut. Connecticut is CT, I think, the state abbreviation. I bring a suit made from strange animal. Could be an anagram of animal inside CT. Oh, I bring a suit. Oh, claimant. Yeah, claimant. I bring a suit. A lawsuit. Not a suit you'd wear to work. A lawsuit. So yeah, anagram of animal inside CT. Alone specific missing part that's biconvex. Oh, I think this is going to be another technical word to do with the eye. Ah, so here we got our thing to look at on the wall. Chart? Something... Oh, what's the name of those... Things you get in the optician where you read out the, the letters as it gets smaller and smaller. I bet that's what it is, because that's to do with seeing, isn't it? Something chart. If we use the anagram helper here, it's got NHS call centre without a C. Anyway, so NHS call centre, but without the C and with that last E. Snellen chart? Could it be called a Snellen chart? I bet that's what it is. It's got to be, isn't it? Like one of those, you know, what I'm talking about. You know, R, E, L, B, Z. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go for Snellen chart. That may be wrong. Could be something similar, couldn't it? Farewell. Attended. Valeted. That's a. Oh, yeah, Vale. Again, I said that. Vale is farewell. Hastings Copper is Ted. Oh, is this a reference to? Uh, no, from the working Harold. Ted, Hastings Copper. 
Hastings copper. Could it be some sort of fictional policeman written by somebody called Hastings? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what Hastings copper means in relation to Ted. Because Feral is Vale in Latin. And Vale Ted is somebody that attends to cleanliness. Anyway, never mind. Loan specific. Oh dear. Um, missing part that's biconvex. Lenticular. That's a word, isn't it? Lenticular. Like clouds can be lenticular. Oh, lent. Loaned. Specific missing part. Oh, it's particular without the part. Amazing. What a fantastic crossword. So lenticular must mean biconvex. And we've learned from this that the lens is a biconvex lenticular part of the eye. There we go. Thank you, Skirwingle, for entertaining us and educating us at the same time. Again, it's uh, what this podcast is all about. Do give it a listen. So that's it. Let's check. Grid. Brilliant. Those stupid spelling mistakes this time. So, fantastic. Do let Skirwingle know what you thought of this in the comments. And uh, do press the subscribe button that's on the screen now if you'd like to see plenty more. There's loads to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.